at his his sister Salome Shalom and her husband Alexa to be in charge of his funeral. After they had to kill the 70 uh, rabbi in Jericho. But apparently they, they didn't they haven't done it, they didn't kill the, the Jewish rabbis and they planned it. But how he planned it? He planned it that he had five thousand soldiers going after him with all his jewelry and his crown in front on a pillow and and a band and the end of the soldiers band and end of the soldiers because he wants them to be happy and happy in the beginning but then when he was buried to cry that's why he wanted to kill the 70 rabbi so he was mixed in the beginning with happiness and in the end with cry when he was be buried because he wants to copy the the funeral of Alexander Mugdon and he was aiming to do it as he made it from so therefore he made a special way from the down down below to up the street the 350 meter way and he destroyed all the building on the way he destroyed all the buildings many public buildings many uh, houses and he destroyed and he make the road 350 meters from here to his from his mikveh after they clean his body up here in his mind he was still a Jew that's why he wanted to cure his body before he was buried we're okay. gonna see that mikveh soon then he died in Jericho and they took him to, and he was buried here in a rodeo next to Bethlehem and Jerusalem <laughs> and more than that from different uh, platoons different platoons from all over the world not only from israel different platoons. yeah five thousand uh, soldiers actually different follow units. him yeah from then platoon, this is the lower part of herodion and you can see the palace itself right there um when you see the flag i don't know if you see the flag just behind him we found the tomb of king herod Woo! Then let's go and visit it. It was Avishai guiding us. 